pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. All right, well, I'm going to tilt this down so you guys can see. And uh, try to anyways. Ooh, yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. And should be able to push these up in the frame. All right, cool. Let me see if I can tilt this down just a tad bit. There we go. All right, yo. I will try to pay attention to the comments as best I can and do all this in frame if possible. So here's the version 2, the new frame. We're going to have to take all the brushless motors off, pull the lid off, all the good stuff. This is the 2S version of it. I have the props up here, which we'll get into that here in a second. Oh, boy. Um, so, yeah, this frame is busted. One of the standoffs is broken on it, so we're going to have to strip this down and pull the frame out of it. Pull all the components out of it here. There's one tiny little itty-bitty screw. And here's the other tiny itty-bitty little screw. Sean Brooks in the heezy. What is up, Ryan? Yeah, man. Figured uh, tonight we would do a little bit of work on the micros. Let me drop this screw out of there. If I can get it out. There she is. Set that over there. Okay. So. Let me get this up. All right. So you got to remember what the front is here. But as of right now, we're good to go. I got that stripped off. Got that stripped off. Okay. So the board's ready to come off. And be transferred over. So. We're going to do that. We can do that now. I've already unplugged the motors on the bottom. As you can see, all the motors have been unplugged. So all we're going to do is pull up here. We're going to get this out of the way. We're going to lightly pull up here. We have to take these rubber guards out. There we go. Lightly pull up. Okay. See if we can get this out of here smoothly. There she is. Come on out of there. There we go. That's going to go just like that. So let me get these rubber soft mounts out of here for vibrations. Two and number three. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll strip these down in a second. Let's go ahead and put the uh, put this on first. And we'll be doing a screw back here. One here. I'm not going to be doing the front one. I'll go ahead and insert that one over there. Flea bag. What's good, man? Ryan with a dollar super chat. I'm trying to pay attention here while we do this here, guys. Okay. And then I got extra screws. I am missing a rubber guard, but I have extra screws out in the garage, so we're good. Oh, man. Nothing good old lubricant won't fix. I have learned personal stuff, you know. Can that frame be 3D printed? Ryan, I'm sure it can probably be 3D printed, my friend. Absolutely. I don't see why not. I certainly don't have the printer for it. But if somebody else does, absolutely. I don't see why you couldn't print it. Sure. Let me get these power leads through first. That'll really simplify trying to drag this through the body. Let me get the power leads in. There we go. And now we're going to take the uh, antenna here, and we're going to go ahead and put that through that little area right down there. You guys can see where I put that. And then we're going to go ahead put this down. I got to see if I need to cut this. I may have to cut this standoff off here on the front, but we'll see if we can fit in here without having to jerk the standoff out of there. So start simple, work your way up, pop in, see if I can get this one on there. Beautiful. So far, so good. And see if we can get that one on there. Oop, this one's going to present more of a fight. I may have to do this to get this one on here. I may have to put it on there first and then slide it down. Let me see if that's probably what I'll have to do. This screwdriver might be a bit too much to try to squeeze on in there. 
Okay, yeah, so let's pull this up. And we'll get that rubber out of there. I think the easiest thing to do here is probably put it in the knuckle first. Put it right in the knuckle PCB board and then slide it down over the top. Yep, that's probably the easiest way to do it. All right, so that's all been mounted properly. Um, I have a 3D printer. Yeah? Yeah, man, I don't see why not. Sure, absolutely. Um, has a cheap bubble jet printer. <laughs> Brian said, does it have ink? Don't forget to smash the like button there, guys. I know we've got seven people watching here. So I'm going to – actually, you know what? I'm not going to wait. I can put this down right now. We can put this down. I still have to go get two more screws, but let's make sure everything fits here how it should. And I should be able to see the motors from the bottom here. Let's see if I can get that on there. Yeah, okay. So this is working a lot better already. Let's see if I can line one side up first. So I can just lightly screw in one side first. You're going to be silly, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, there we go. I just go until it's tight. Two fingers. You don't want to go until it's crazy tight, but there we go. And now we'll slide this one over here. Oh, it already looks so much better. You guys have no idea. That standoff being broken was horrible. Brian with another dollar super chat. <laughs> we got eight people in here now and three likes. We're not doing too shabby. This is uh, something I've been needing to do to this Mobula for a little while here, guys. Let me go until this is tight. I want to make sure this sits on that frame well. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. I shouldn't get any high-speed wobble from that. Let me tighten this side down a bit more. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous right there. That's very nice. All right, so it's pretty simple to tell what's back and what's front here. So now, obviously, we're going to do the motors in succession here. We know that these two are the front, these are the back, but it's always red, red, black, 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 red, red. doesn't really matter. So we'll start with the front right one here. We will take these three screws out. Thomas, Brent, what's going on, guys? We're just changing the frame of the Mobula over so I can let her rip tomorrow. Right, let me capture this. I really don't want to lose these screws if possible. So we'll set one down there. Set the other two down. Let me get this motor out of the way here. Beautiful. Then we'll try to set these screws down. There's one. Let's see if I can get the other one out of there. Well, this one's being a bit more of a pain here. I don't think I backed it out all the way. There we go. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and put this uh, front motor on here. And I think what we'll do is put one screw in, and then we'll do the rest of them. And then from there, it's pretty self-explanatory, I would think, anyways. So let's just get one motor in. Line this up. This is going to be kind of a pain to do with one hand here, guys. But it's all good. Ah. There we go. Okay. Now we can take the other screws and put those in here slowly. Laggy. Is it me? Laggy. Is it me? I, I don't see any. I mean, I don't think you're getting any lag, brother. I don't think anybody else is getting any lag anyways. 
There we go. Quick one of those. Beautiful. And last but not least, the front screw. And yes, these are very tiny little screws, guys. Make sure all these are nice and tight here. Not super, super tight, but tight. You don't want to lose these due to vibration, obviously. Go until it's hard to spin with two fingers, because these are going to vibrate a bit. There we go. All right. Now we can plug this motor in just like that. Take this screwdriver, give it a little push. And boom. That motor is in, ready to go. Slap that prop on there now. <laughs> Pew. Okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. The rest of it is self-explanatory. Just follow the motor patterns and make sure to put your props back on good, and you should be good to go. I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't think I need to do the whole thing. That's pretty self-explanatory I think these frames are really easy to work on but this should help should simplify things anyways if you want I can continue the whole process here that's yeah night train that's what uh, who was telling me about that um, I want to say Ed was telling me about that that the version 3 has uh, better um, <laughs> so what the hell keep going all right we'll do them all that's fine. We can do them all. Um, who was telling me? I think it was Ed. Love my drones. I think was telling me about the frames. So we will. Uh, yeah, Mobile Seven is one of my favorite birds. These things are zippy on two S, especially the three S version with the HD camera. I will get my hands on that. That would be a lot of fun to have the HD version. So. We will go ahead now, pull this out. Ryan, do, do it for the stream. $2 super chat. Do it for the stream, bro. All right. Ryan, a.k.a. D's Nuts, this is the bird I was telling you um, to get first. They're great flyers. Drone on, I've tested all versions, 1, 2, and 3. Only fly version 2. And Brian's the one I normally hang with, guys, drone on. He's the one that's in the majority of my FPV videos that I do. Me and him are definitely good buddies. And uh, I trust him to death. Not to say I won't try it, but I do trust him to death here. So, Oh, what a pain. What a pain. <laughs> really? You're going to just come out of there like that? All right. You stay there. You get over there. Ah, uh, this motor's being difficult. This motor's being difficult. There we go. Well, that was a pain in the butt. All right. That was a pain in the keister, y'all. <laughs> Dinner bell, be right back. Sounds good, guys. Like I said, man, we're just sitting on here doing a stream. I work on these things all the time. You guys never get to see me work on them, and I figured tonight we would go ahead and just show you that these little drones do need some maintenance not a ton but they do need maintenance you break a lot of frames on these things and when they start flying wonky it's normally because things are too bent and they just have taken too many crashes and they require a little bit of maintenance so these frames are like a dollar a piece so they're pretty cheap you just keep a whole stack of them at my house that way in case they break you can just you know switch them over real quick however it is a pain it's, it's a little annoying having to constantly 
the change over the frames because as you can see it's about a 25 minute job so it's a, it's a little little irritating it's not my favorite thing to do but let's see here that should go in right underneath there lock that motor in come on there you go all right that motor's in that motor's in good to go there and there antennas on the front good to go there excellent and uh let's see who do we got here double tap gaming fingers tiny screws don't mix yes um massages fingers too small yeah this is not it's not easy trust me it's not my favorite thing to do to work on these tiny little screws so put that prop on now anyways we'll take this out tomorrow and we will rip it when i'm done um, I got to tuck a few more screws, but yeah, this looks uh, this looks ten times better than it was. That frame was really bent. That whole standoff was missing, so part of the stack just was not functioning very well, and I was getting a lot of vibrations, and it was flying really wonky. It was just it was all over the map. So <clears throat> I suppose we can start on the back now. Is that what you guys are saying? Start on the back now. They're plugged in on the front. Make sure these are nice and tight here. And then tomorrow we'll we'll do it. We'll rip her. Those are all good. I charged up some batteries. Yeah. Always double check these because these just settled again and I could put them a little bit tighter once they squeeze the plastic. So always check them again. All right. Let's go for the back one here. We're going to go for the back right motor. Next. Loving the new rig, Dan. Actually, this is one I've had, Jim. Oh, you're talking about the computer? Yeah, the computer's good, man. Yeah, computer's awesome, bro. Godsend, honestly. It is doing a very good job. All right, just take that motor out of there. These are tiny little motors, little brushless motors, man. It's crazy how small these little motors are. All right, sorry, guys. My computer screen is so tilted, it's hard to read the comments. I'm always on dropping screws. Uh, when you get a chance, Brian, if you would, brother, I need you to print me one of those double battery holders so I can clip that onto here like you were showing me. That way I can hold the 2S batteries and start running 2S on this instead of constantly having to connect the, you know, connect the bypass key in there. Um, I think it's just time to push this onto 2S. I think I'm easily ready for this. I mean, I'm running the Diatone 249 on 3S and ripping through it. So I think I'm definitely ready to take the Mobila to its next, uh, next level here. This will be a little more agile, and I won't be so afraid to try to fly this in my neighborhood at you know higher speeds. The 249 is a little too fast and bulky, but I think this would be perfect on 2S. So, Dan built his share of a whoop. Yeah, man. Hey, I didn't say I was new. I don't do any of the tuning. If I, if y'all want to know, man, Brian is is the guy. Brian is my guy. Brian does the majority of the tuning work and stuff for me and setting up all the beta flight. And, um, I tell him what I'm looking for out of it. and He hooks me up and he makes it work how it should. So I got to give credit to him. But as far as working on these, I don't have any issue doing that. Rebuilding them. I understand the concept of all this and, you know, obvious drone maintenance that's required. I get all that. <laughs> see if I can get this screw in here. Yeah, these little screws are a pain in the ass. There we go. I think I got you. No, not quite. There we go. I got you that time. Sweet. <sighs> Frustrating. I usually run into myself. <laughs> 3D print, dude, you're set. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. I know, man. Or, Joan, that's how we rule. I set it up. He tater chips them. Exactly. I just like to fly, man. I just enjoy the fly. Someday I'll sit down and I'll learn beta flight. I understand 
the little things. When I'm out in the field, I can handle a lot of the little stuff myself. Just hook it to my phone and do the simple version of beta flight on the fly. But when it comes to actually properly tuning it, uh, Brian's the go-to. He is the wizard. He's the tuning wizard. So he's my bra. And I don't think he's gonna stop flying any soon. <laughs> Anytime soon. Tighten these down. That one was loose again. See, it doesn't take much to get these little screws loose. They don't take much. 18 people and 15 likes. We're not doing too bad. Productive day today so far. All right. Ryan C. Samsung Note 10 Plus can do it. There you go. Always rub your screwdriver across the magnet before starting this job. Yes, because it'll magnetize it. However, this is already a magnetized screwdriver, so I don't really have to worry about it. But if your screwdriver is not magnetized, take it and drag it down a big, long magnet. and It'll temporarily magnetize the screwdriver. You would be correct. All right, let's put that lead in there. Get in there. Come on. Get down. There we go. There we go. All right. That would be this one. And of course, click, click, click. Oh, these motors feel so good. All right, we got one left, y'all. One left. One motor. Ryan with another dollar super chat. Killing it there, Ryan. So buy him a 12 pack and you're good to go. <laughs> buy him a 12 pack and you're good to go. Yeah, uh, Brian doesn't really drink, man. Brian's not really a drinker. He's not a. Ah, really? You're just going to throw things there, Dan? That's how we roll, I guess. And Brian, tonight I have to fix the Ion 75. We're going to take a look at that here in a sec, too, on camera and uh, see what's going on with the Ion 75 because it's useless to me right now. It doesn't fly. If you remember why, you remember why. Click that like button, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's it for this frame. Yep. So it got a little bit of use, but that standoff is broken right there, which is causing a big bunch of issues, man. This thing did not want to fly straight. It had a lot of problems. So throw that frame away. Finish this last motor here. 22 people up in the easy. Do, 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 do. All right, get that little itty bitty tiny tiny screw on there if you guys can see that little itty bitty sucker. This is a tiny screwdriver, so you know that's a little screw. Let's just put that through the screw hole first. There we go. Keep that in there. I think best thing to do is put the motor in maybe this way. Yep, that looks good to me. All right, now for the fun part. Getting the first screw started is the painful part. Every time. There she is. All right. Line that up. If I can here. Okay, that should be lined up. <laughs> One more time at band camp. EBR in the house. Ed, there you go, man. 22 watching you screw. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one. 
That's funny right there. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty amusing. What am I, a clown? I amuse you, huh? All right. Let's tighten that one down good. I, I'm so funny, huh? Tell me I'm, I'm funny. I'm a clown. I amuse you. How am I funny? I've been through this exercise. Yeah, I'm sure plenty of times, man. This is my third frame replacement now. Is that right, Brian? Third frame replacement? I think so. I think this was number three. By the way, we're in the middle of tornado. We got tornado warnings right now. Yep, starting to rain pretty hard outside. Okay. Ah. And get that one up and through there. Eh. There we go. One more plug in and we are good to go. This will be ready for tomorrow. Then we're going to go grab the Ion 75 and have a look at that real quick. Beautiful. Booyah. Booyah. One more propeller to go on there. This one's ready to rip, tater chip. Boom. And we'll throw this around the center of it. That's in case I want to run my other batteries or 2S on here, in case I want to run the 2S set up. And then we'll go ahead and put this jumper in there. The jumper key. That way I can run 1S or 2S on this setup. Boom. All right, so now it's set up for 1S use. And if I want to, because I bridged it here, if I want to, then I can pull that out and run 2S batteries on this setup. There you go. Mobula 7 now complete. We had those yesterday. Thanks, Dan. Not a problem, brother. Plug and play, baby. Gotta love it. That's it, man. Plug and play. She's ready to rip, Tater Chip. I'll push these uh, rubber guards back down now. Raise the board pretty high when we were pushing on the motors. That'll take some of the vibration out of the camera by pushing this down. Get the board away from the camera a bit. Then I can also push these wires in so they don't get cut on accident. Yeah, there we go. Matter of fact, I may still put a piece of tape in between there or foam or something. I don't like where those wires sit. If you guys can see those wires, they sit right next to the motor module, see? So if one of those wires was to on accident pop out in front of this motor, it would just slice right through those mo through the wires. You can see they stick out of the frame just a tad bit, enough to make me irritated. So I'll probably do something about that. Ed says, never flown the Moby on one ass. Dude, it's fun, man. It's still fast. I think you could probably clock it at 20, 20 miles an hour on one ass. I chase cars with it, and I pass them normally going down my street. They're flying 15 to 20 miles an hour. So even on one ass, man, it's fun. It doesn't have the power to do the cool, like, shoot up over the top of the trees and do major backflips and stuff on one ass. But, I mean, it's still a very gradual fly on one ass, man. It's really nice to just rip around, you know. Yeah, the wires on the trash can are like that, too. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. Uh, no, these are brushless, Dalton. These are definitely micro. These are the beta brushless. I want to say these are beta brushless, right? These are the Happy Model uh, 802 KV 1600. Oh, 16,000. These are definitely uh, little brushless motors, if you can see the bottom of them. Everything I fly, heck, even the... This is brushless now. Most of these little quads are brushless. So this is the Tiny Hawk, which, by the way, we will be giving away a Tiny Hawk on my channel. Um, actually, I think we decided to do a ready-to-fly package. I'm going to – brand new. Um, we'll go ahead and give away a Tiny Hawk ready-to-fly package. Um, we'll probably do that either Christmas or I'll start the giveaway on Christmas and run it until New Year's, and then on January 1st we'll – pick the winner. Um, I got to decide how I want to do that, but we're going to go ahead and give away one of these. Uh, it's going to come with goggles, transmitter, 
I believe two batteries and the drone with extra props and everything you need to get you started ready to fly. So I think we are going to do that. So, yep, we will be giving away a Tiny Hawk Emax 1S setup. <laughs> 1102s, right? No, man. These are the, uh, yeah, the 802s. Ryan said sick. That's a sweet giveaway, huh? Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite uh, little FPV drones to fly. And this also has a uh, brushless. You just can't see them because these are weird how these clip on. These actually push down over the top of the motor, which is interesting. Um, and two of these props are cracked. I need to change these, but they just keep working. I barely ever lose them. So, um, And they run on these one-ass gung-dung batteries, um, these little pink glow batteries. These just stick right in the bottom like so. And you get about two or three minutes of flight out of them. They slide right in just like that. Actually, I put this one backwards, but yeah, these are 520. Um, then you just plug them in, set them down. And there you go. It's telling me it's not connected. The ESCs are making that noise. It's telling me it's waiting to be connected to a transmitter. So and there you go. Bang dong bing dow. Yeah, man, comes with goggles, so we'll be doing, like I said, I think we're going to do a ready-to-fly giveaway. Um, it'll be a, or I should say ready-to-fly package. We'll be doing an Emax Tiny Hawk original version 1S setup uh, with goggles and transmitter and everything. So we will get that figured out. So just be ready for that giveaway. Um, Brian, are you still in here? I'm going to go grab the Ion 75 now that the Tiny Hawk is done. We're going to pull that board off. Give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. We're going to pull that board off and have a look at it. <laughs> so this is a, yeah, project mocking. That's what I have uh, on this. We have installed Project Mockingbird on this, and it is amazing. It is just so flowy, man. It is sugar behind the sticks. It is uh, probably the best uh, to run on on uh, the Tiny Hawk, honestly. That, that Project Mockingbird is incredible. So this one here is also brushless, but one of these wires here, power wire, is actually coming loose on this side or it's bridging a contact point right here i think so i'm gonna have to take a closer look at this or maybe even the switch is going bad something is happening with this one Let's see what happens if i plug it in it's sometimes it's like dee -dee 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 -dee, like it resets like 10 times and see like right now it's not even powering up you see what i mean like it should power up right now and it's just not so i bet you if i jiggled this I might get something out of it. Yep, there you go. See what I mean? And then as soon as I set it down, it goes out. So, yeah. there's uh, This one's definitely having some power lead issues on it. So I need to address that. And as you can see, Brian has been in here before and soldered on this. So, But uh, this is holding up pretty good, man. This is a pretty flexible flame. But this also has the Beta FPV uh, 19,000 uh, 19, kV. These are the 0703 motors on this. And uh, this is fun. This is more of an indoor flyer, though. This one's zippy. Even though the motors are, you know, pretty solid, it's not really a it's, – it's a 1S runner. That's what this one is. This one's definitely a run S runner. Drone shots. What's going on, dude? So, uh, well, it looks like I got to go moderate for J Drone. Take it easy. Guys, oh, boy. J drone. Uh, Ryan, how much is this one? I have no idea. This was given to me by Brian. Um, Brian uh, built this one. I think he changed the camera on it and he put a 3D printed shield on here and he did a whole bunch of other stuff. This one, uh, this one's a personal build. I think this is kind of a Frankenstein, which is cool. I'm not even sure what the framework is. I wish he was still in here, man. Um, and the snow certainly is not falling out here, but I think I think I have an idea as to what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably this power lead. 
So I may just replace this. I don't think it's bad up here. I think this is holding. I think this is the problem. I think the actual uh, 2.0 JST connector is what's actually the issue here, or the NUS connector, whatever you want to call it. I think that's the majority of the problem. So, um, yeah, no, we they, we like to to Frankenstein stuff, man. This is all like home built design setup stuff, man. You know, me and me and Brian, we really like our little home built rigs. These things can be a lot of fun, and you can make them do what you want to do. He's into the toothpick builds now. He's having a blast on the toothpick builds. So, Drone Zone 360, what's going on, man? So. There you go. We got my little Mobula runner team here. Well, we got my little micro team here. These are the ones that I fly, and they're all pretty fast. This is the only one that will handle 2S, though. The rest of these setups are all 1S setups. So, But this runs Project Mocking, you know, Project Mockingbird. This runs, I forget we have this on 4.0. I want to say Beta Flight 4.0. I think this is still running an older 3.0 something Beta Flight. Um, this is designed for tricks in indoor flying. Even though they're brushless motors, this was set up to do fast indoor flying. This was set up to basically be more or less an outside flyer, and this was set up for kind of all occasions. So that's how we're doing things. So, yeah, man. It's a good little team. It's not too shabby. All right, let me pick this up here. Boom. <laughs> so oh man that's really bright ow, ow 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 that's too much no that's too much too let's see what happens if i do that oh that's a lot better too much light still though let's try that there we go all right so i know it's a little dark man the only light i have is this light right here so it's kind of what we're rolling with nice winter lineup well, I'm in Florida, so we don't really have winter to worry about. I just go outside and rip around the palm trees, my friend. I know not everybody gets to do that, but we get to do that year-round. So, Nice night train. <laughs> uh, did you try gaingg.gg? Nope, 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 nope. Soul Commander in the house. What's up, brother? What is happening? Make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Yeah, make sure you guys are subbing up to one another, man. This is the best time to, to you know, get connected and all that fun jazz. And like I said, the RC Sailors drama is over. I just wanted to make sure that they knew they were in the wrong and what they did was wrong and everything about it was wrong and it could have been handled so much better. So you don't have to worry about any more of those videos. Those two are staying up and, you know, I hope they learned a, a valuable lesson about calling out people for no reason. And, uh, yeah, so moving forward with life, that's what we're doing. Bob, 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 what's happening, bro? People on Gain GG make 100 a day. I'll have to check that out, man. Gain.dg. Huh. I will definitely check that out. Just It's the same, man. I made $5 last week. Cold front coming through, so it's raining. It's raining right now. Ed, you know that. You're in Florida, right? You're in this area. You're not too far from me, but yeah, it's pouring outside right now. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I got to get a haircut again. Can you believe how fast my hair grew? And I need to shave. This is crazy. So we're going for my biopsy on my liver Thursday. Hopefully everything turns out good. So yeah, no thunder, man. I'm not really hearing thunder. We had a little thunder earlier and some lightning, but now it's all kind of gone at this point. I don't really see anything coming across the board. So I think we're good to go for the moment. So, yeah, I need to get some little better lighting in here, don't I? This is kind of meh. Uh, how is the quad lineup? Well, I think these two are functioning properly, the Mobula 7 and the Tiny Hockey, and both of these are fixed and ready to roll now. This just got a new frame, and this one got the motor fixed. And I put, uh, I'm going to put the new props on this. So this has a little bit more to go, but new props. And this one's also ready. There's nothing wrong with that one now. And uh, this one, I have to figure out what's going on with the power lead. This is the Ion Brushless 75. And uh, this one's got a little little bit of work that still needs to be done to it to find out. I used to fly it, but then it just kind of randomly stopped working. So it is what it is. <laughs> he has the gerbil. What pets do you have? Um, well, one, I have 
uh, he's a guinea pig, so we call him Ham Solo. Um, so I have a guinea pig that looks like Han Solo's vest, so I just call him Ham Solo. Um, and then I wanted to get a bird because I wanted to call the bird Luke Skyswalker. I thought that was an that was an original name, right? Luke Skyswalker. So Ham Solo and Luke Skyswalker makes sense. Eggs, bacon, and ham. <laughs> Mike has been on my mind since the live stream earlier today. Thoughts and prayers to you, Mike. Yeah, man, I need to call Mike. We need to definitely get a hold of Mike tonight. Steve, what's happening, brother? Yep, Jody is definitely in here. We got a bunch of cool people in here right now. We got 20 likes, 23 people just watching on a on a random night. This is kind of fun, man. Um, I, I got to fix a quad, show them out. I mean, I already started on the project a little bit before I started the stream obviously i was a little little bit into it already but not too far so is. i might even be able to transfer the innards of this over to my other mobula 7 frame and see what happens with that that might be kind of fun so but yeah like i said don't forget guys ready to fly emacs tiny hawk setup going to come with the Emacs Tiny Hawk itself, ready to rip with acro stabilized and horizon mode already built into it um, and ready to go. Brand new in the box. It's going to come with a set of goggles and it's going to come with, I think, two batteries, maybe. Um, I believe two batteries and the transmitter. So be looking forward to that giveaway. We'll either do it on, like I said, Christmas or we'll, we'll start the giveaway on Christmas and then we'll go with the giveaway through until January 1st and then we'll do the giveaway January 1st. So I, th I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's the plans that is the plans. Um, no, Dalton, I, I don't have any ground vehicles anymore, man. I got rid of all of them. I did order the uh, motor for the underwater submersible 4k drone so that we can get that thing operational again and uh, get ready to put that back in the water and have some fun. Um, I'm actually considering selling the Gladius and buying the smaller Gladius. Um, I really don't need that big unit, even though it's a it's a neat, it's professional 4K underwater submersible that can dive down to like 400 feet. I don't need it. I only need something that can go down like 50 or 75 feet and shoot in 4K. So I'll probably sell the submersible after I fix it. We'll put a new motor in it and we'll you know sell it. Hmm. Somebody's getting a two thousand dollar underwater drone. I'll probably let it go for like nine hundred bucks if somebody wants it. So we'll see. Vish has C, and I fixed it. It's it's one hundred percent working. I tuned the camera myself. I did all the work to it. I can show you how to fix them yourself. I'm probably the only person out there actually fixing these things because nobody wants to take theirs apart. Well, I'm not afraid. So do you want my twenty thousand dollars? So, yeah, man. Yeah, that, that Finding Dory from Gladius, Chasing Innovation, that's what I really want to get my hands on. It's the same price as the Mavic Mini. I would honestly rather have the underwater submersible than I would having the Mavic Mini. I have plenty of drones, so I'd rather get rid of the big, you know, monster underwater submersible and, and uh, get a much smaller, compact, fun one to, you know, play with. Uh, that's easier to travel and take with me. So, <laughs> drone zone is going deep here, man. He is just going deep. I think that's what they cost. Let's take a look here real quick. Give me one sec, guys. I won't be able to read the comments, but let's see if chasing innovation, chasing innovation, and. Let's see what they got here. Chasing innovation underwater drones. Yeah, here it is. The Finding Dory. Oh, it's called the Chasing Dory. My bad. The Mini and the Chasing Dory. A 15 meter wired tether. So that's like 50 feet. Let's see what Buy Now has to offer. So it comes. Yeah, so it's 500 bucks. 4.99. Free backpack with Dory purchase. Two customer reviews. Um, Chasing Dory underwater travel bag. Chasing Dory on our add-on accessories. What? You mean it doesn't come with accessories? What? Shut up. It doesn't come with a transmitter? Are you telling me it seriously doesn't come with a transmitter? A visual effect can be shared on social media, live size, tilt. Blah, 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 blah. What? 
hot for five hundred dollars doesn't come with a transmitter oh, never mind i'll just keep the gladius i have i'm good i'm not gonna spend yeah five no thanks i, I don't know <laughs> The drone travel backpack is $80. The remote control is $99. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Screw that. Start selling merch. I would if I could ever find a company that would host it. And every time I start merchandise, nobody ever buys it. I just gave up. I gave up doing it, man. I don't want to push my merch off. If somebody wants to buy, they can. But you got to remember, unless like 25 or 30 people buy, then they won't even ship the order. They'll just refund your money after like a month if nobody, if not enough people buy to make it worth their time to put out the merch and they just don't do it. So I've tried it in the past and it just didn't work and nobody really bought anything. So I just moved on. I figured, hey, if I became a bigger channel, then maybe that might happen. But you know, I'm not forced. I have Teespring Drone Zone. They still won't ship orders under 15. You got to sell like 15 things before they'll ship it. So, Ryan C said, Can I see the submersible? Yeah, I'll put a link for it here. Copy. This thing's cool, man. It's cool. Let's see here. Paste. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm not going to blow 500 bucks if I can only use it on my phone and then I have to spend 500 plus another. So now we're at 600. And then for the backpack, now we're at 700. Like, that's just not worth it. I'd, at that point, I may as well just get the, the chasing mini instead of the finding or the chasing dory, the chasing mini. Let's see. Let's see what they want for the mini. Let's go to buy now. I mean, the dory is so compact and portable, though. Oh, yeah. No, they want $1,200 for the mini. They want seven hundred dollars for the. That's crazy. See, I'll show you the one I got. I have the top torn off of it right now, but this is what I got. <laughs> Ryan with a five dollar super chat. <laughs> nice. Uh, so this is my Gladius 4K professional underwater drone. This will dive down to 400 feet with 4,000 lumens LEDs. I have the top off of it right now because I ripped it apart so I can replace that motor, which is right here. It's a blue tip motor, right? So, but they're like $90 per motor. So this motor is still good. These two motors are still good. Um, but that motor needs a replacement. So I have to order it. I have all the screws up there. When I'm done, I'll put this thing back together. We'll take it out in the ocean and we'll go check out some sharks and cool fish. But this was like $2,000. You know what I'm saying? Like this was the most expensive one that they made. And now all they offer is the Dory and the and the mini, they don't offer this model anymore. This is the advanced pro model version two, and they don't offer it anymore. So I guess number one, it's rare. Number two, it's the most advanced one they've come out with so far, but I don't need it. It's big. This thing is heavy. This thing weighs like 15 pounds. This has two massive three cell batteries in it. These tubes on both sides right here and here, these are three S and then this is the camera setup inside here and all the electronics for the whatever the thing that it works on. But, you know, I, I'm the only person on YouTube that's been tearing these apart and fixing them themselves and showing people how to do it. And they got mad at me. So they quit sending me products because I was showing people how to repair theirs. That's how that went down. They didn't want me to show people how to fix stuff. And I'm a DIY. I'm a hobby channel. That's what I do. You can't send me something. And then when it breaks, expect me to send it back to you and pay a fortune to have you guys fix it when I know I can fix it myself. And then I'm like, oh, this was relatively easy to fix myself. I'm just going to show other people how to do it. They didn't like that. So they quit working with me and I got to keep it. So that partnership kind of went down the drain, but it is what it is. It's not outdated. They still sell parts for it. They have tons of parts for it. 
Um, so, so that you get 100% of the money. <laughs> well, like I said, it is what it is. It's, it's a choice I'll have to make. Just went down by the Trump rally. That's tomorrow. A bunch of protesters are yelling, no more lies. Kept going around the block, yelling, Trump for King, Trump for Trump us. Jody's so crazy. Um, but yeah, no, Double Tap Gaming, it, it's not. It won't become outdated anytime soon. It's only a year old. They just don't offer the model anymore. Um, they have tons of parts for it. They just don't offer the model anymore. Jim has one. So, yeah, Jim Jim had one sent to him. They won't work with me anymore because I was way too honest with my review. And uh, when I started burning motors out really easily, I was like, wow, this is kind of chintzy. Why is it burning motors out so easily? They didn't like that either. So I call companies out. Like, I mean, this is this is something you have to fix. But what, what really ticks me off is that they're charging so much for the motors. Like they're just underwater submersible motors. Like they're not that big of a deal because they have them proprietary made, right? They have longer shafts. I found the motors. I found the motors they used, but they had longer shafts installed on them. And that's something, unfortunately, I don't think you can get balanced properly if you try to do it yourself. It would take a ton of work just to buy that motor and then build the, the, the length that you properly need to fit the motor in there. It's just too much work. It's $90. It's, it's, it's so see and one two. so it's like 225 dollars for all four motors which seems a bit outrageous to me honestly 225 dollars what am i putting a transmission in my car what is the deal with that These are tiny little motors it's crazy to me crazy so I'll probably just fix it keep it look at this man see how this eye this one looks swelled up. Ever since the day that we went to Alligator Alley, this eyelid has never looked the same after it got swelled up. This one always goes back up like it should, and this one here always looks like it's dark tinged. Ever since that day it got like weirdly infected, it's always done that now. Just It looks different than the other one. It's really strange. I don't understand why that is. See what I'm saying? How far this one recedes up and this one doesn't? Yeah, it's strange. Sleep well, Dan. Sounds good. Drone's on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yep. Wow, man. There's a lot of thunder out here right now. This is enlightening. It's crazy. It's crazy. Who just texted me? Oh, okay. Goitcha. Um, five motors, T motor forty pros, hundred and thirty five dollars. I know it's still like two hundred and twenty five dollars for four motors, man. That seems a bit out there, dude. You know, plus you have to wait like a month and a half for the stupid things to come from China before you can even put it in the water again. So I don't know. Oz, dude. What is up, Oz? Don't forget, if you just popped in to smash the like button, there's 21 likes. I have to assume I've been through at least 40 or 50 people by now. So if you forgot to smash it, please don't forget. Make love to it. I'm working my way towards the end of the year here. I'd like to start the new year with a good algorithm boost. That would be awesome. <coughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's raining for sure. It is definitely raining here. Can't really see it, but it's raining. Oh, I'm getting tired now. Um, got the Gladius Mini ROV drone this week. Nice, Jim. Nice. Yeah, they won't work with me at all. So feel lucky, brother. Don't say anything negative about their company or, or attempt to fix anything yourself. They will immediately drop you as a sponsor. So yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. They're still working with you. I'm I'm way too bluntly honest for these companies. They don't like my honesty. This is not the first review I've thrown out. Well, I didn't throw them out in the beginning. I, I was working with their company because things were going smoothly. But then they said they had the first version they sent me sank. 
the second version they sent me had an out of focus camera, which I had to resolve myself. Um, and then after that, I'm trying to think of what happened. Oh, the, the damn drive on the thing kept crashing. The internal memory core kept crashing. So I had to get a hold of the company and have them send me the disk fix program software and then tap into the internet on that and put it on here and refresh the drive and fix the drive and all that silly stuff. So that's cool. Good for you, Jim. I'm glad, buddy. Doing big things, man. It's not even eight then. Well, I'm tired, man. I didn't sleep much last night. That's why my eyes are so dark, bro, today. Like my face, all this just looks tired. It just looks exhausted. I didn't sleep much last night. I think I got like four hours. And then the same thing the other night. I didn't get much sleep. So what's your email? Okay. <laughs> you ready? There you go. That's used for everything, bro. That's to get a hold of me on YouTube. That's to send money on PayPal. That's to, uh, what else was I using that email address for? It was a bunch of stuff. I use that for like 50 different things, man, that it connects to, which is weird. Ah, yes, sounds right. <laughs> sounds right. Yep. I don't, I don't want to go to CES. Like I said, I'm tired of trying to say what's new. I don't care about what's new. I just want to have fun. I, I'm tired of tired of competing with everybody. It's not fun to compete anymore. It's just like, why? Why compete with everybody? I don't see the point. Just go out, have fun, enjoy yourself, fly, get out. Like, does it doesn't matter if you own a DJI product or a 3DR Solo or a Unique or who cares? Does it take footage yet? Yeah. Does it do what you need it to do? Yeah, you're good to go then. What the hell are you worried about? Go have fun. Fly FPV? Yeah, well, go have fun. Get out there. Do what you do, man. Smile. I'm trying to be a positive advocate now. I'm trying to be a happy advocate for what I do. You know, I, I've been through a lot of stress in this hobby and, you know, me and Ryan talked earlier and honestly, I, I haven't had a lot to be happy about the past two years, man. But you know what? I've met some really cool people along the way. And despite all the health conditions I've been through, I'm still here. I'm still having fun. I may not be the peppy go lucky guy like I used to, but at least I go out and enjoy it still. Still a good time. Still have fun. I still enjoy hanging out with you guys and sharing knowledge. You know, I just, I don't want to compete anymore. I'm tired of the co competitiveness of like who's got the best products. That's gotten old quickly. I'm done with that. So. <laughs> Yes. Like a, I'll be like a kid in the candy store. Well, there you go. Into the bush, man. It's good to see you, brother. Thank you. Uh, yeah, well, 3 dr Soul has been around for five years, and it's still kicking ass and taking names. So and I still haven't done anything advanced on my channel yet to show you what its true capabilities are. I was waiting until everybody said it's completely phased out and it's useless and then start the mods, then start showing you what you can do with a built platform that is designed to be altered. This is a stressful hobby even without YouTube. Eh, eh ups and downs. Uh, Steve, I'll be heading out, I think, on the 21st if everything goes smoothly. It depends on how my body takes the biopsy. They're going to have to put a slice in my upper rib area about right here. Then they're going to have to insert a needle straight in. So they're cutting through all that. That is a very sensitive area. I will have one day of recovery, and then if all goes well, hopefully that Saturday I'll be jumping in the car on the 21st and pew! heading off to Alabama to hang out. So if you guys want to meet me in Alabama, you have my email address in the description, man. Feel free to get a hold of me. I'm going to be bringing the 3DR solo and that's it. Bunch of batteries. and I'm just going to be out flying and letting her rip tater chip. 
and I may bring a couple micros. I may bring the Mobula 7 now that I fixed it. So maybe a transmitter Mobula 7 in my backpack, that kind of stuff. We'll see. How much is surgery? Oh, I have no idea, drone zone. I have no clue, man. Dude, I've, I haven't been working in five months. I'm just scraping by as things come. You know, uh, I luckily every once in a while, man, I get an awesome super chat and I got uh, Rick Halliber who started a GoFundMe account for me a while ago. That's really helped. Um, you know, I'm doing my little side things to try to get by and pay bills and all that fun jazz. And then I sold my boat because my health is more important than having a boat. So we got rid of the boat and I didn't get nearly what I wanted for out of that. I only got $700 out of that deal. So. You know, it is what it is, but I'm surviving. I'm surviving. So I am surviving. That's, that's good enough for me, man. I have a roof over my head. I have parents that care for me. I have an awesome family, and I have just the coolest YouTube crowd ever. So, yep. Yeah, it wasn't even bad, man. Rick was able to raise, like, $548, I think, on that GoFundMe. He did an excellent job, and I thank everybody that contributed to that GoFundMe. Since then, it's died, and that's fine. Like I said, I didn't, I don't need it to stick around forever. Um, you know, I make ends meet. It's nice to be able to take the stress off of somebody, and, you know, I just gotten out of the hospital, and that was very helpful for getting out of that stressful environment. So, <laughs> don't shut up. Do I need to buy tickets? Five hundred a person? Wow. Uh, nope. Drone zone. Unfortunately, man, that's uh. Yeah, no. You said, do you think it would be different situation if you didn't have alcohol? It's not the alcohol that made my liver fail. It's um, it's we yeah. Man, there's more to it. Apparently, my body is rejecting my liver. It's not the cause of alcohol or drinking it was uh, something completely different. I forget what they said it was, but it is what it is. My body doesn't like my liver. Apparently it's uh, yeah, it's probably runs in the family. I'm sure that I'll have to check in with my sister and make sure that she gets her liver checked out. Nope. I don't smoke, man. Text for me. Hello. How's it hanging? Well, we got almost 30 people in here right now. That's pretty good for this time of night. Oh, I got an email. Who sent me an email here? Maybe it's the RC Sailors. <laughs> They're not going to respond to me, man. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> That's funny. Jay Roberts, uh, why are you so obsessed? He's talking about the RC sailors. He thinks I'm obsessed because I made two videos about them and moved on. Apparently that's obsession. Um, I said, why are you so obsessed to come and watch me? When I post my videos, it's got to be my dashing good looks and my chiseled features. And he said, easily fixed. You're losing friends quickly. Bye. Bye, Jay. To the roof, Felicia. <clears throat> you don't have to like my views and opinions. I'm not asking you to. You know, I, th I think everybody forgets that. They have expectations of me. Please don't. Guys, I'm just a person. I just, you know. Don't have expectations of me. I'm just out here having fun. I'm just a hobbyist enjoying myself. I'm allowed to be opinionated. You don't have to agree with my opinions. But if you don't like them, you don't have to comment either. You can just toot a -roo, You know? That's like, that's like I've got to get the last word in before I bail. I want him to know how I feel. <laughs> I think it's funny. Daniel, a.k.a. Danny D., what is happening? Some people say obesity runs in their family. Reality is many people don't run in there. <laughs> That's actually kind of a funny joke. I'm not going to lie. Hi, Jim. Said hi a couple times earlier. Not much in the air again. Woohoo! 
what if I told you PewDiePie gave you a shout out? Drone Zone, I would say that's impossible because he just went on break. PewDiePie may not come back to YouTube. He has made that clear. He's taking a break and he's already made his fortune. And the way things are going on YouTube, he says he might not want to continue. He will decide after he's had his break from YouTube. He said he's been doing it for 10 years solid. He's tired. He's exhausted and YouTube's not making his life any easier with all this new stuff that they're putting into play. So they may lose their biggest person on the platform. <clears throat> oh, man, I'm getting lots of messages. Hold on. Son. I heard the gerbils and guinea pigs can give humans liver issues if you let the animal dig around in your poop chute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Does that mean you need to confess, bro? Mary bear. Sorry, bro. I didn't see it. Explicit, what's happening, dude? No worries, Jim. No, Dan. They won't email you. The RC sailors will be outside knocking on your door while you're on vacation. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm going to answer them on my ring doorbell, too. Hey, bro. Nobody saw me. I troll you. <laughs> oh, Ryan. I'm not one of those. I know Dan isn't. Uh, actually, Drone Zone, he talked about it on his social media page. He didn't admit it on YouTube, but if you get his tweets and his notifications, he openly was talking with his fan base about, you know, at this point, he's tired, very tired. And uh, Well, I'm not going to repeat myself. I just got done saying this. Um, but yeah, I mean, go, go, go sub to his social media, man. He said this like four or five days ago. Um, you know, it's not it's not big, it's not huge news. Like, I don't think anybody really cares. PewDiePie's leaving. There's gonna be a lot of ticked off six and seven and twelve year olds that PewDiePie is not gonna be around. But as far as adults, I don't think most adults care that PewDiePie wants to leave or he's tired, one or the other. I mean, his content is like I don't even know what it is, but all the I'm like you're just a useless waste of space in my eye. You know, I I don't understand what he considers artwork. He makes videos for like five year olds. I don't <laughs> I don't get it, man. I'm out of here, guys. I need to sleep. Good to see you, EBR. <laughs> I watched it, LOL. Never seen the person. Yep. Keep them comments coming. Yeah, dude. What time is it? It's like eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. All right. Who are we talking about? Pewdie who? Pewdie who? Um, why another biopsy? No, no, not another. This is the first one, man. We've been waiting this whole time to have a biopsy done. They haven't. That's the problem, Bob. They haven't opened me up. This whole time, it's been a guessing game. They've just been telling us things. Like, there's seven doctors or six doctors involved in this, and everybody's been, st st like, we finally put our foot down. Like, this has got to stop. All of you need to communicate, and you all need to come up with a decision of what needs to happen. This is stupid. I'm jumping doctor to doctor, and you guys are sending me back to one another, and neither of you guys are answering questions. We finally kind of put our foot down and, and uh, Got a little more stern with him, like, this is going to be solved, and we are going to handle this quick. So let's get on the ball here. And, uh, yeah, so I think we finally got the doctors communicating with one another, and that's, uh, that's where we're moving forward. So hopefully the biopsy will tell me 100% if I'm going to need that transfer if the liver is savable. I really don't want to have a liver put in if I can avoid it, obviously. I don't really watch Mr. Steel either. I don't watch any of those guys, honestly. What'd you eat, Dan? We want to know. <laughs> Tonight I had half a burrito that my mom brought home and a bunch of broccoli with green beans. Mm. I know, man. I know. I hear you, Ryan. 
Yeah, I quit watching Ken altogether. I can't even sit through Ken's videos anymore. The jokes are all the same. The platform is all the same. The shows are all the same. I just, I'm good. I respect Jeff Sills, though. Jeff is a good dude. J-A-S, Ariel, as you guys know him. Jeff is a real solid dude, man. But as far as the Heron community goes, I'm done with all that. That's just... <laughs> much to be desired. He does stuff that he knows other people can't do because he gets special permissions to do it. And that's why his videos are the way they are. Like, I'm going to fly in a hospital. I'm going to go fly in the state building. I'm going to go like most average people never be able to pull off that kind of stuff. So let's just be clear about that. Mad Kiwi in the heezy bodizi, my friend Easy. Hospital and second hobby, Ryan C. One killed my brother. He makes so much money. I a bloody yaka. Mr. Yaka. Hell no, I don't have his eyes. Are you kidding me? Who would put those on their drone? I don't understand. Why would you do that to your $2,000 bird? Put a, like a five cent sticker. That's like, that's like buying a Dodge Challenger and slapping a sticker immediately on the back of it after you make a purchase that has like a radio station on it. Like perfectly good Challenger and right on the back, 107.5 oldies, you know, like <laughs> what? why would you do that? Oh my gosh. I do have the Craig's eyes on the Gladius. Yeah, we definitely put it on the underwater 4K drone. We put Craig's red eyeballs on there, um, who's another YouTuber. So, yeah, we did do his eyeballs because his eyeballs look rad. And Ken's look, well, kind of not rad. Not very aggressive. Kind of make your drone look a little wimpy. You know? <laughs> oh, man. Who are you, Kiwi? Who are you? Well... I should see if I have another connector somewhere for this. Because this is useless to me as it sits right now. And I have a feeling that connector is the problem. So gonna have to gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna go out in the garage and go through my parts and see if I have a 2.0 connector. True drone reviews. What happened to that carbon fiber drone from last year? Uh yeah, you talking about the one that I buried the company that one the x dynamics evolved drone from 2014 that they tried to push off on everybody you know did you hear what happened between me and x dynamics brian you know i'm, I'm a i'm a guy who likes to push the boundaries of everything i think you know that i flatlined the company pretty hard um i really gave them the business on Facebook and it got to the point where they reached out to me and they were like, look, you need to stop. We have ways of dealing with people like you and you, you need to cease and desist. I said, ways of dealing with me, huh? Cease and desist. You're telling me that you're legally going to tell me I can't say what I want to and uh, even though it's my American right to do that and it's a free market base allowing me to voice my opinion on your free market products for the consumer drones. Good luck with that. I let them have it three times worse after that. And then all of a sudden the drone just disappeared. Never to be seen again. Never. Nobody bought it. Nobody cared about it. Technology died off. We tried everything to get them to listen to what we were saying. If they had just revised a few things, it might have been a cool drone. But the batteries were from 2014. You have a 2014 drone. 
that claims to get all this range you could barely cross a football field and the lidar sensors didn't even work it had zero range whatsoever on top of that it only got like a seven or eight minute flight time that was like horrible that was between a bunch of different reviewers like i think only one person got one that had decent flight time and i think that was captain drone so yeah i was not polite i took it very deep on that company um, and they deserved every bit of it you know they tried to lie to everybody and say how incredible this drone is going to be and these are those companies you got to hold accountable you know i didn't point fingers at youtubers you know, I'm not that way. I don't do that. But I do know people that do. I think their name is the RC Failers. I think. Yeah, I think that's them. Mom's Spaghetti. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nobody, man. You don't get away with anything on my watch. Right, I, that's what I'm saying. Like they're taking advantage of you. Why not bluntly just let them have it? That's that's them. Yeah. Nah, they wouldn't blame the company. They'd be like, everybody that reviewed this is wrong. It sucks. Uh, it's it's a good drone. All the reviewers are are sucky. They're lying. Yo, I did see that. Shen, Shen and me have been talking all morning. Shen, I, I was the one that pointed out their review to Shen. Shen went over there after I dropped my comment and lit a fire under the RC sailors. I mean, like deep. He went deep. Um, I mean, he crushed Nate and Abby in the comment section. And, and they tried to respond. And he was like, bitch, please. And he gave them timestamps throughout their video and he broke it complete like our Chen RC. If you guys aren't like I've known Steve forever. I think True Drone Reviews has too. He is way more knowledgeable than Nate and Abby. And he didn't catch the niche. He never blew up like we all expected he would. But I'll tell you what, if it came down to a knowledge battle between him and Nate, he would just dust Nate. And uh, you know. He did it properly. He did a proper review where he took the time to learn the product, took everyone to the place it needs to be used at, told everybody he has a lot of tech. It's very cool. It's like almost zero editing through the entire video. It was flawless. It just looked perfect. And that's the proper way the video should have been done. Instead of taking things out on everybody in frustration because you can't get the product to work and then because you can't get it to work, you just expect everyone else can either. And anybody that's saying that this is a good product is now a liar. That's out of bounds. I'm sorry. More people should have called him out on that. But I'll tell you what, Shen RC went over there and absolutely crushed them in their own comment section. I'm surprised they didn't delete his comment because of how bad it made him look. On top of that, he woke up today and he put out another video about the uh, Ducati motorcycle showing Nate and Abby how to properly set it up so they wouldn't have problems. I feel like my job is done. I feel like I've accomplished everything I needed to. Shen did the majority of the light work for me, and I thank him for that. So we left it at that. I hope they, you know, take at face value what we were trying to point out. It's their problem, not the other YouTubers. They shouldn't be pointing fingers. It's had nothing to do with them, you know. Oh yeah, no, it was just he abs he absolutely crushed. Just go Shen RC. Just go to their comment section and see what Steve had to say. He was even polite. Not only did he crush them with logic and kill them with kindness, but he was polite about it. You know, it was epic, man. You know, he did call him out a little bit, but then at the end of it, he's like, I don't know, maybe you're setting it up wrong. Here's how you do it. And then he went and made a video and showed him how to set it up. I was like, Bravo, sir. Bravo. Well done. If I had that product, I would have done the same thing. Bravo. That, it, classy, classy. I need a cigar, a really expensive drink. Classy, sir. You are classy. You know, epic, just epic the way it was handled. You know, and I hope they learned something from that. Most likely they didn't. They're probably just going to move on and act like everybody hated them for no reason. 
that it is what it is. So, put Shen's link if you can, Dan. You want me to put Shen's link, huh? Okay. <laughs> I will show you the review that this is exactly how their review should have gone. What I think has actually happened here, if you want my honest opinion, I think what's actually happened is the RC sailors don't want to review toys anymore. I think they're getting lazy with their reviews. Um, I think if they feel like they have to put too much time and effort into learning how the product works or you know, then they try to do a quick toss away video of it and it didn't work out in the scenario for them. They realized there was a learning curve involved and I think they just kind of didn't want to take the time or opportunity to do the learning curve anymore because they've tested so many toys and instead they decided to make a frustrated video and they kind of went out of their way to call a bunch of YouTubers out unnecessarily and just to try to make themselves look good so they could push the review. And I think that was a horrible way to do things. So, yeah, I was a little bent. I called them out, and, and I, they, they deserved every bit of that. I hope from now on they remember what it was like to put the time and effort into doing a proper review. And uh, because Shen RC did a proper review, and he knew what he was doing, and he did a very good job, pros and cons, showed the vi you know very little editing, uh, you know, and he breaks it down for you exactly how it was meant to be broken down. Flawless. Make Brian a Smurf, huh? How does he not have a wrench? And, you know, who else needs a wrench, don't you? Ryan. How does Ryan not have a wrench? Ryan needs a wrench. Bob needs a wrench. Jeez. Timeless. It's good to see you, buddy, by the way. There we go. All right, we got a bunch of wrenches in here now. <laughs> ah, I'm going to show up my power over you. Right on, Ryan. You're a push. <laughs> I am the dog. I am more dominant. You guys are cracking me up, man. Well, thank you, Robert. I, I hope you appreciate that. There were a lot of people that did not appreciate me calling them out, but I, they needed that, and I think they still do. I don't think they got quite the bigger picture yet. So make sure that you, you know, and let them know that you're still unhappy about the situation. So, well, guys, if you could, don't forget to smash the like button. I'm actually getting ready to get out of here because uh, people are done filling out Christmas cards, I hear. I may need to sign a bunch of these, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night here. But tomorrow I'll be expecting a flight from probably the Mobula 7 now that it's got the new frame. I did charge some batteries. You're good to go. I'll probably also punish the Tiny Hawk a little bit tomorrow as well. If it's flyable conditions, I hope it is. We will go from there. So we will see. We will see what happens. We've got almost 30 people in here, but... Got to call it a night, unfortunately. Gabe M., thanks for popping in, man. You're a little late. Thanks for popping in. Vroom, vroom, the man says. Um, yeah. <laughs> Love you a long time. Five dollars. Um, you're a ding-dong, mate. Well, thank you. I appreciate bringing you being a ding-dong. That's bedroom intruder. Drone zone. Bedroom intruder. Don't forget. Call it like you say it, bro. And Gabe, unfortunately, I'm getting out of here, buddy. It was really good to see you, man. I got to call it a night here. So thank you for stopping in, guys. Don't forget, I do have a giveaway coming up. Um, we're going to be giving away a Tiny Hawk brushless, uh, Emacs Tiny Hawk 1S brushless setup um, with goggles and transmitter, brand new, maybe on Christmas, or we'll start the giveaway on Christmas. So we will see which day I'm going to choose and how I want to do the rules. and We'll go from there. Hopefully by the time I get down into Alabama, I have everything in my head of how I want to do it. We'll do it from there. So don't forget to stay up to date. Be watching for those giveaway videos because right now there's only like 220 people to watch my channel. That's not too many people to conflict with. 
You know, I'm not putting this on blast. If you're paying attention to my channel, then you're going to be part of this giveaway. I'm not sharing this with other people. I'm not saying this to other people. If you're part of this, and you're here, you have the opportunity. There's no outside sharing going on. This is just going to be, hey, if you're part of it, you're part of it. You know, I'm not trying to make it, you know, you guys support me. So I'd rather try to keep it within the support group and go from there and see how things go. So. All right. Sound good? Sleep tight. Remember that email, Dan? I already gave it to you, man. I typed it in the chat. Yeah, no, they're never going to sell it for that. They can kiss that goodbye. Let's see here. <laughs> Enter. There you go. Dan, you take care and biopsy and get your butt on the vacation, brother. Will do. Will do. So there you go. It's been posted again, drone zone. It's been posted again. So all right. Well, I'm out of here. You guys have an amazing night. I will catch you on the flip. Cutie view.